Welcome back. We're going to continue our focus on finances this morning. And right now we're going to have a discussion about affordable health insurance. There are new options, especially if you received unemployment in 2021. Let's find out more. You can now get affordable health insurance at healthcare.gov if you received unemployment benefits in 2021. Today I'm speaking with the CMS Director of the Office of Minority Health, Dr. LaShawn McEver, who's going to discuss everything that we need to know before the August 15th deadline. Dr. McEver, thanks for being here today. Thank you so much for having me. Who should take advantage of this SEP and explore options at healthcare.gov? Currently, anyone who's uninsured should take advantage of this uh, special enrollment period. As a result of the American Rescue Plan, there's now greatly expanded financial assistance. And as of July 1st, anyone who's received unemployment compensation during this calendar year, so 2021, uh, they would be eligible for, uh, this ex for expanded financial assistance as well. Has financial assistance been expanded for customers at healthcare.gov? Yes, so it's been expanded in uh, several ways. One, for those who previously may have um, gone on to healthcare.gov, they'll find that they're, they're, if they qualify for financial assistance before, that that, could have, that may be expanded. But in addition, um, people at higher income brackets, um, they some of them are now eligible for plans. So even if you have a plan on healthcare.gov, we're encouraging you to go back and see what uh, type of savings you may uh, benefit from. Four out of five people are finding plans for as low as $10 a month or less. Uh, for families of four that may have had premiums of $400, they're finding plans for as low as $163 a month or less. And for those unemployed, as I mentioned, they may uh, pay zero um, premium for uh, zero dollars towards their premium as a result of this expanded financial assistance. Where can people go to apply for coverage and financial help? They can go to healthcare.gov to begin the application process or to update their application. If they find that they need assistance, um, they can call our Marketplace Call Center. That number is 1-800-318-2596. And we have assistance there 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and in over 150 languages. And what about individuals who were on unemployment this year? Will they still be eligible for an increase in savings? Yes, if an individual has been on unemployment this year, even for if it were for a week, uh, as of July 1st, there are special uh, provisions available. And, and for some, they're paying $0 towards their premium and have very low out-of-pocket costs. So this is really an opportunity for those who've been negatively impacted during the pandemic to take advantage of these expanded, this expanded financial assistance to help fund quality health plans. And after they apply, when could they expect to receive health insurance coverage? So if they apply uh, by before the end of the month, so before July 31st, their coverage would start August 1st. The special enrollment period ends August 15th. So if they apply by the deadline, their uh, insurance would start September 1st. But we're encouraging people to apply today so they can start saving towards their health insurance. How can consumers find more help? Consumers can find more help at healthcare.gov. They can also call our 1-800 number, which is 1-800-318-2596. And that number is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And uh, we have assistance in over 150 languages. In addition, on our website, they can find information to link them to local assisters and brokers who can help them uh, find quality health plans. And if an individual currently has health insurance through the marketplace, should they come back and update their information? If a person currently has uh, health insurance through the marketplace, they absolutely should come back and update their information to see how they may benefit from this expanded financial assistance. And any other resources that we need to know about? The, the starting point is healthcare.gov. So I would encourage people to start there today. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Dr. LaShawn McKeever, for joining us today. I appreciate this important information, everything we need to know before that deadline in August. Thank you. 
We've come to the end of our show for today. On this Monday, we've covered a wide variety of topics. Thanks so much to Park City Fire District Fire Marshal Mike Owens for stopping by today. We really appreciate his time and his information to help us mitigate fire and keep us safe this entire summer and beyond. Always appreciate having him on. Also, very other things that happened. Thanks so much to Kate Bellman for getting us ready to return to work. Also, thanks to Chef Eric for his tips on bringing West African cuisine cuisine into our meals. And thanks to Dr. LaShawn McGeever for giving us that information about affordable health insurance and Stacy Watson for talking about how money is a team sport. So it's been busy here on Mountain Connections right here on Park State Television. Back tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. Have a great day.